Hello students, now we are going to start our next chapter Acid, Base and Salt We have learned in our previous classes that sour and bitter testers of food are due to acid and bases respectively present in them If someone in the family is suffering from a problem of acidity after overeating which of the following would you suggest as a remedy lemon juice, vinegar or baking soda solution? So in this case we have to suggest to give vinegar or baking soda solution because they are base and if a person is suffering from acidity then it should be neutral uh, neutralized by giving them a uh, so soda because soda is a basic and this basic will neutralize the acidity of the person who is suffering from this acidity you already learned that Acid are sold in test and changes the color of blue litmus into red, whereas bases are bitter and change the color of red litmus into blue. So these are the difference between acid and base. Litmus is a natural indicator. Turmeric is also a natural indicator. Have you noticed that a stain of curry on a white Cloth become reddish brown when soap, which is basic in nature, is scrubbed on it. It turns yellow again when the cloth is washed with planter. You can also use synthetic indicators such as methyl orange and phenolphthalein to test for acid and bases. So remember, phenolphthalein and methyl orange are two synthetic indicators, means man-made indicator. In this chapter, we'll study the reaction of acid and bases. How acid and bases cancel out each other's effect and many more interesting things that we use in our day-to-day -day life. Hello student, now let's try to understand the chemical properties of acid and bases. To understand the properties of acid and bases, we need to perform an activity. Activity 2.1 Step number one, one, collect the following sample Hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, nitric acid, acetic acid, sodium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide and magnesium hydroxide. Now put a drop of each of the above solution on a watch glass and test with a drop of the following indicator as shown in table 2.1. Then you check what change in color did you observe with red litmus paper, blue litmus paper, phenolphthalein, and methyl orange solution for each of the solutions taken? Tabulate your observation in table 2.1. Sample solution if we use red litmus paper in a basic solution, then it turned blue, and if we use blue litmus paper in acid, then it turned red, and if we use phenolphthalein. Phenolphthalein is a synthetic indicator, means man-made indicator, and its chemical compound formula is C20H14O4. Phenolphthalein is often used as an indicator in acid-base titration. For this application, it turns colorless in acidic solution and pink in, in basic solution. Remember, in acid, it shows colorless, and in base, it shows pink color. Another synthetic indicator is methyl orange. Methyl orange is a pH indicator frequently used in titration because of its clear and distinct color variance at different pH value. Methyl orange shows red color in acidic medium and yellow color in basic medium. So remember the color. Methyl orange shows red color in acidic medium and yellow color. in basic medium so this indicator tell us whether a substance is acidic or basic by changing the color but there are some substances whose order changes in acidic or basic medium means smell changes these are called olfactory indicator we will know more about this 
olfactory indicator in this chapter later on.